Salut tout le monde, donc aujourd'hui je suis ici avec Frank Mir à Las Vegas. Thank you so much Frank for this interview for GlobalMMA.com. Oh, no problem, pleasure. So uh, Frank, uh, you are the former UFC champion in the heavyweight division. Um, you're still in contract with the UFC. When can we expect to see you fighting again? Um, I took time off just to make sure my body was healthy and to heal up. And uh, now I'm you know, looking to maybe uh, possibly fight again. Uh, I'm just waiting to see what works out for the best. Um, do you have maybe a fighter that you'd like to, to face in the octagon? No, I think, uh, you know, uh, really fighting is really about conquering yourself. So whoever they put me in with, it doesn't matter. I, I just want to train hard and be at 100% or close to as possible. So uh, there's really nobody that, you know, more so than another. Uh, I know Noguera keeps asking to fight me. So if he, you know, if he's healthy by the time I can fight, uh, you know, I would make that happen. It was not enough for him uh, to, to last the uh, last time with his uh, broken arm? Yeah, no, that's why sometimes it kind of hurts my feelings. He still wants to fight me. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, you know, fighting is fighting, and I know that he wants to, uh, you know, redeem himself. So I understand. Uh, regarding your training, where do you train uh, right now? Uh, different gyms. I train uh, stand-up and stuff still with uh, Jimmy Gifford. I do most of my uh, weight training with a guy named Tony Aponte, the Aponte's uh, training systems, and uh, Uli, where we're at right now, I do uh, uh, conditioning and uh, gymnastics type training for agility. And then uh, my grappling, I go to Gorman and I work with uh, Ricky Lundell uh, uh, for uh, wrestling. And then uh, Drysdale still for jiu-jitsu. Okay, so everything in Vegas? Yeah, everything's here. Um, what about uh, the, your division, the heavyweights? What do you think about it? Oh, I think that it's extremely tough now. Um, uh, we've always had great fighters throughout all the years, but, uh, you know, top five guys are great, and then they would drift off slowly. After that, I think now you have top 10, top 15 are, are, are tough fights. Uh, uh, there's more depth than there probably ever has been. Uh, how many fights do you have still in your contract, uh, in your UFC contract? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, what, do you, what are your picks for uh, the title uh, fight between Ken Velasquez and Fabrice Overdoom? Uh, I think it's going to be a great fight. I really don't have a clear-cut guy. I know that a lot of people are heavily favoring Kane. Uh, he has great wrestling and good striking. But uh, I think Verdum is a great striker. and He's so tall and long, I can see him doing very well in the stand-up area. And then uh, if he gets taken down by Kane, obviously Velasquez is a better wrestler and can uh, dictate when the fight goes to the ground. But uh, to take down... Uh, uh, Verdum is very dangerous. Uh, he's the best guy in the, in the division on his back. So uh, that could be uh, you know, a double-edged sword. You score points for a takedown, but to try to uh, not get finished at the same time. Can we expect to see Brock Lesnar again at the UFC, and would you be ready to, to do a, a third fight with him? Oh, I mean, if Brock ever came back, I think that'd be a huge uh, a fight. It would cause a lot of draw, um, a tiebreaker between us. But uh, as far as do I know if he'll ever come back, I have no idea. Uh, during uh, your whole career, what's uh, the toughest opponent that you had and what's uh, for you your best memory, your best uh, victory? Uh, they were all tough. It'd be easier to... <laughs> I don't really have one guy that was tougher than another. And so many great fighters that I've faced and uh, champions and uh, top-ranked guys. Uh, probably uh, my most fulfilling fight was the second one with Noguera just because uh, I started off doing so poorly. He was winning the fight and I was able to turn around and come back and win convincingly. And um, that made me proud to uh, come back from. Uh, regarding your hobbies, uh, apart uh, spending time with family, what kind of hobbies do you like to do? Uh, I like firearms. Uh, I enjoy going shooting. Uh, uh, as far as other hobbies, when you have three kids, uh, you know, fourth of steps on, mm -hmm. and uh, there's not a lot of time. If you spend time at your job, I don't have time for hobbies. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, uh, Frank, for this interview for Global MMA, and we wish you the best uh, for your career. Uh, thank you so much.